For our next post rehab tip segment, we'll look at the ligaments of the knee. We have a model here of the, uh, of the knee, and you can see it's an anterior view of our knee. You can see our quadriceps and patella tendon here, our quadricep muscle itself, and you'll notice we can remove this quadricep and also the quadricep tendon. I'll just let that hang there. And now you can see our, our ligament structures here. Here's our lateral collateral ligament. Here's our medial collateral ligament. And inside you can see our cruciates. Now cruciate is a Latin word that means cross. Now I'll ask Ed to get a little bit better shot of that for us. And as he zooms in, you can see the anterior cruciate sitting there. Now I'm going to go to another model here. And with our second model, we actually have kind of destroyed this guy, but it actually works perfect for what we're looking at here. Again, we have our lateral collateral ligament, our medial collateral ligament, but now we can remove this, the uh, femur here. And when we look now inside, we can see our collateral ligament. We can see our other collateral ligament, our medial collateral. Here's our lateral collateral. And then now we can look down on this, uh, on the tibial plateau, and you can see the remnant here of the uh, posterior cruciate ligament. Now, that posterior cruciate is, a, is very important for knee stability, and if I look along the posterior aspect of the tibia here, we'll actually see where that posterior cruciate attaches. Now, that attachment of the posterior cruciate is essential because the orientation of its attachments makes it very difficult for this to be surgically repaired. Now, we'll go back and we'll take a look at our ACL, and what I'm going to do here is we have an a anterior view, and as I showed you earlier, when we open this guy up, we can see that ACL sitting inside, probably not the ideal picture, but now there's our ACL a little bit better, and with that ACL, you can see it actually is sitting right in the interchondrular notch between the two condyles. I'm going to turn around and we'll look at a posterior view, and actually that ACL really attaches along that um, condyle, and it just simply drops straight down. And now if we take a look here, there's the orientation of our, our cruciates with the posterior view. There's our PCL, and our ACL is s sitting just anterior. The job of that ACL is to keep the tibia from translating anteriorly. So if we turn around here, the ACL's job is to keep that tibia from moving too far forward. That's his job. When, it's, when it ruptures, we find that now that tibia moves forward. We lose stability in the knee, both with internal and external rotation, and that's where we have a problem. So again, to review those ligament structures, here's our lateral collateral ligament, our medial collateral ligament. Inside, when we actually open up this uh, uh, flex the knee, we actually will see our cruciates. And with this view, we actually now turn around, and with a posterior view, we'll see our posterior cruciate our anterior cruciate is now sitting anterior, and when we turn around here and we look at the view here, that ligament that just popped up there is our ACL. Okay, now it's obviously torn here, so we can actually see it a little bit better, but our ACL normally will be sitting down in there just like that. There's our ACL. Oh. There's our ACL right there. And again, our lateral collateral ligament sitting here, medial collateral ligament sitting here, and inside would be the cruciates, the posterior being obviously most posterior, and our anterior cruciate being right here. So that gives you a little idea of the anatomy of the knee. Now obviously we removed the quadricep um, and the patella with this, uh, with this orientation on this anatomical model, but this gives you a better view of the ligament structures in the knee.